Welcome back to the channel everyone. We are currently on week five of our NA Ecotech 300 horsepower burnout car build. And today we're not doing any mechanical. We are looking at the Delco ECU. So what we're going to do today is we're going to hook it up to our oscilloscope and we're going to see how the dwell and stuff works at limiter because I know that these ECUs can only rev to 6,375 RPM and anything more than 6,350 you lose the limiter. Now you can patch that so that you can have the limiter go to say 8,000 if you wanted to. The problem is with that is you lose spark control um, at about 6,500, which is what we're going to look at. We're going to look at patching that and expanding that to see if we can get the limiter around the 7,200 RPM mark for this. So grab a seat, grab a drink and enjoy. So a bit of detail on this, we have our um, writer here. Now there's, there's a memcal in here we're going to have to write to over and over. So we've got uh, these here which are actually EEPROMs, so they're electronically erasable, meaning we can erase and write over them without having to worry about the UV eraser. The next thing we have is our Arduino, which we are going to be using to simulate the RPM signal to the ECU. And I'll be reading out the RPM and stuff in that window. And what we're basically looking for is we're trying to get accurate spark control up to around 7200 RPM. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to do a jump to a time lapse of me pinning all this in because I have to pin all this in yet. And um, then we will look at doing some control testing. Alright, so we have de-pinned the 16-pin uh, pink plug. We are going to be wanting to use D11 and D12. I know we didn't have to de-pin the whole thing, but I just like to do this so that I know exactly what's what. So D11 will be our reference low, and D12 will be our reference high. So D11 and 12 will have to go to our Arduino, and um, then that'll go off to the oscilloscope and um, we'll be generating the signal with the Arduino. So we'll jump to time lapse of setting all this up and then we'll come back and we'll do some um, base testing. So as you can see there, we've, we're in EST mode and we've got a thousand RPM. We're commanding a thousand RPM through the Arduino. Thousand RPM there. And that is our dwell showing on the oscilloscope. So I'm gonna go through and I go through and measure the burn and the dwell times. And I'm gonna put them in a spreadsheet. And then we are, that's gonna be our control data. And then we're gonna make some patches to see if we can expand that. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you something. As you can see, this is a pretty normal pattern. You've got a, that's your dwell up top, and that's your burn down the bottom. So what I'm calling the burn is the time between ignition events. So this is the time that the burn will occur. Now I just wanna show you something. Let's go 6300, okay? So that's 6300. Now as you can see, the burn time gets incredibly small. Now there's a reason for this, obviously, the more, um, the faster the engine's turning, the less time there is for these events to take place. Okay, so at 6,300, that is perfectly fine. That will work. But I'm going to show you what happens when we hit 6,500. 
As you can see at 6,500, you're starting to get these times where burn is a lot longer than it should be. Now let's go 6,600. And there you go, your burn is way too long compared to what your dwell is. So that's what we're trying to overcome here. We're gonna patch this to hopefully make the burn time more in line with what we're wanting. So we can go to about 7,200 RPM, give or take on the ECU. So I'm gonna enter all this data in a spreadsheet. I'll put that on a time-lapse and we'll come back and check it out. All right, so here's some of the data so far, but I've just paused the scope just to show you at 6,500, that's a good burn. That's not a, not a good burn. That is way too much. So if you look here, we've got 2.4 milliseconds or 2.44 milliseconds. And then we've got um, 640 microseconds for the burn time. That's the correct amount. But then if you, on the occasional error, you get a 3.68 millisecond burn, which is, would create a misfire. In reality, that would create a misfire. So at 6,500 RPM on the factory ECU code, you would be getting misfires. All right, so as you can see, we have our control data. Um, our control data goes up to 8,000 RPM. You can clearly see an issue starts at the 6,500 mark. Or, yeah, um, if you look at the error on the screen there, so 3.68 milliseconds. Now, now we're going to talk about what the actual issue is, okay? So there's a minimum dwell and a minimum burn time in the ECU. And you can see I've already worked out the calculations here. Um, so what the go is here is there's a sum, okay? And there's the minimum burn and the minimum dwell have a sum. And if the sum gets lower, so it overflows, um, you end up with an issue, okay? So pretty much as you can see here, 6,600 RPM with that calculation there. So that's your RPM there. As you can see, I've done the calculation right there, okay? The uh, calculation is 201.7. I'm gonna quickly show you this. So as you can see, there's your minimum dwell. This is in the ECU code, and there's your minimum burn. So let's humor ourselves here, okay? And let's go to the calculator and let's put in A2, so 162, and 24, 24, 36. So 162 plus 36. So 162 plus 36 equals 198. Okay. Now let's do this calculation. So let's go clear this off. All right, so let's do the calculation now. Do you use Google? We'll go 6600. Oh, 6600. As you can see, that's 198.59. Okay. But now if we go to 6700, we're at 195.6. So we've gone under our 198, which we can't do. So the fix for this at least in this case, is I am going to patch the minimum burn to be a little bit shorter. So what we're going to do is we're going to patch that now. Okay, just going to just correct, definitely check that. Yep, hex 14. You go F3, or F2, 14. And then we're going to go to again to save that. Now, as you can see, that's been patched. The minimum um, burn has been patched to 14. So now we're just going to produce this. Now, interestingly enough, we are going to have to open this in Tuna Pro again just to save it. So to check some updates. There you go. Check some updated there. And now we're going to write that.
All right, so that has definitely worked, um, but it has given us way too small amount of dwell at low RPM, and the burn is like 14 milliseconds, so that needs to be changed. We're gonna have to experiment here a bit. Nine, A. Okay, whoops, go into here. And then we'll just let that go through to see if that changed anything too much. Yep, 9A is there. 14, we're going to put back to 24, but we're going to change that again. So, calculator. What was 24? 24 was 36, so 36 minus 8 is going to be 28. So, let's clear this and go 28. And that one's going to be 1C. 1C, save. So now we've got 9A for the minimum dwell and 1C for the minimum burn. Again, it's all about keeping this sum over um, the amount. So if it goes under, everyone has issues. Okay, so we'll save this one and we will try again. There's our final value. Now, keeping in mind it does mess up a tiny bit, a bit like when it's doing what it's doing at 6,500 before, but I will patch that a little bit further. But as you can see, much better results when we start to get really into the RPM. So at 7,000 RPM, we're at 480 microseconds, which is about where we need to be, I reckon. And we have lost a bit of dwell time, but it's not terrible. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's the result. It's not fully complete yet, but it was just meant to be a bit of an experiment and I think it worked nicely. So catch us next week for the engine assembly. We've got to get the engine together for this thing, get it in and then dyno and then power cruise. Remember guys, if you did enjoy the content, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if you have any questions at all and I'll do my best to help. Catch us later.